Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Vikram Maskar, a knee and shoulder surgeon from New Delhi, India and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about something very important. Have you been suffering from knee pain? Are you not getting the right answers as to why are you having knee pain? Let's talk about the seven most common causes of knee pain. Number one, osteoarthritis. What is osteoarthritis? In simple words, your knee is getting old. Your knee is a machine, it is a joint where three bones meet. Where they meet and the bones are covered with cartilage which is a polish so that friction is minimized. This cartilage can get rubbed off over a period of time because of age, because of injury etc. And there's friction in the joint. This friction can cause pain and swelling and this is called osteoarthritis. You could also have an injury to your ligaments in your knee. So what are ligaments? Ligaments are ropes that connect two bones together. Your knee have, has four of them. The ACL, the anterior cruciate ligament in front, which prevents the knee from going forward. The posterior cruciate ligament at the back, which prevents the knee from going backwards. The medial collateral ligament on the inside, which prevents it from opening up this way. And the lateral collateral ligament on the outside, that prevents it from opening up that way. These ligaments can break in any injury. When they break, you can have pain, you can have swelling, and this is usually trauma related, more often than not, injury related. Apart from that, you could have rheumatoid arthritis, which is a disease in which your body attacks itself. It's called an autoimmune disease. How does it attack itself? You have cells in your body. They're soldier cells whose job is to basically attack infection that enters your body. Sometimes they forget who the enemy is and they start fighting against the body, which causes the body to destroy itself and more so destroy the cartilage. This is very treatable with medicines and this could be a cause of your knee pain. Apart from that, you could have meniscus injuries. There are shock absorbers in your knee called menisci. These menisci are the ligaments friends as well as they protect the cartilage. When you have an injury in them, they can cause pain, they can cause swelling, they can cause locking. That is your knee getting stuck and you can't extend your knee completely. Apart from that, number five is petalofemoral pain syndrome. What is petalofemoral pain syndrome? Your knee is made up of three bones, the thigh bone, the leg bone and the kneecap. The kneecap, which is right in front, this is a convex bone that sits on the concave thigh bone and this is how it moves, like a rail wheel over a rail track. This jo joint in your knee does not take the body weight but is the lever for you to get up, run, jump, etc. This cartilage can get soft at times or can get abraded at times leading to petalofemoral pain syndrome or sometimes because of muscular imbalance the kneecap may not be right in the center, a little bit on this side, a little bit on that side. Because of excessive pressure on one side, there can be pain. Number six is tendinitis. So what are tendons? Tendons are ropes that connect the muscle to the bone. Where the tendon is attached to the bone, like a clothesline, where it's attached to the wall, maximum tension is there. So when you hang from the clothesline, it's likely to be in under maximum tension where it's attached to the wall so it can come out. Or it can take a lot of load there and create problems. So where the tendon is attached to the bone, can get inflamed when the muscle is not very strong or it's been overworked and cause pain. This is called tendinitis. Apart from that, there are the last reason for pain in the knee is there are cushions on certain bony prominences in your knee. Like in front of your kneecap, in front of your leg bone or tibia. These cushions are called bursae. The, the role is to basically take impact off the bone directly Sometimes for those who do certain activities, let's say football players that kick the ball a lot, maids or people that kneel a lot, these areas come under a lot of pressure, they can get inflamed and cause pain. These we call bursitis. It could be parapetella, prepetella bursitis. These can cause you. So when should you seek medical help? When this pain is persistent, when it's causing you a lot of swelling, you feel unstable on your knee, your knee starts getting stuck or locked, you're having fever, etc. for a very long period of time. It could indicate an infection in the knee also. Please seek medical help. 
Apart from that, if you've sat over it, it's affecting your quality of life and what you want to do, you must seek medical help. How do we diagnose the cause of your knee pain? The first thing is a clinical examination by the doctor. Apart from that, we get x-rays done, which are a good indicator of whether there's any degeneration or aging in the knee, any fractures in the knee. Apart from that, you would also get MRIs done at times to see whether uh, the ligaments and menisci are fine. Sometimes ultrasounds help with the bursitis. We also get blood tests done because certain inflammatory arthritis like rheumatoid arthritis, gout, where uric acid is increased, can be diagnosed with blood tests. Infections can also be picked up with blood tests where your total leukocyte count, ESR and CRP are elevated. What are the home remedies? You can rest, put ice packs, take an anti-inflammatory, certain exercises for your thigh muscles. If you're still not okay, please go to the doctor. What would your doctor suggest to you? He may just suggest some medicines. He may suggest physiotherapy. He may suggest certain braces. And in certain cases, even a surgery or an operation to take care of the problem. What are the operations likely? If it's a fracture, you do fracture fixations with plates, nuts, bolts, uh, rods, etc. If it is degeneration, you may have a realignment surgery if you're young to push the body weight away from the compartment that's damaged. Or you may have a partial or a total knee replacement wherein you put a substitute for the cartilage that's gone away. You could have an arthroscopic or a keyhole operation if it's a ligament or a meniscus. So how can you prevent knee pain? So number one, listen to your knee. Listen to pain, listen to swelling. Number two, rest it adequately if you're a sports person. Number three, exercise regularly, especially your thigh and hip muscles. Number four, eat healthy. Very important to eat antioxidant foods like turmeric, like methi uh, and garlic. These can help to a great extent. Make sure that you keep your weight under control because the greater the weight, the more load on your joint. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got a lot of information about uh, knee pain. If you like my video, please like and subscribe to my channel and please follow me on Instagram. For those who like Hindi content, we have a Hindi channel, which is a silver play button winner. Please follow it and subscribe to it. It's in our bio. Thank you.